Hello, in this video I will show you how to sort of join, as it would be called, um, a, a list essentially of items into a string separated by something. Now, it could be a comma, which is uh, more of a common thing to, to have, or it could be a semicolon, or it could be really anything you want. Uh, now, for more complex arrangements, you would probably want to use... Uh, uh, formats like JSON, uh, so you don't have any problems uh, with uh, strings uh, having those characters, uh, separation characters uh, uh, inside the items, like we have item here, so if we would have a, a little comma here, that would be a bit of a problem. Uh, I will show you that later, but essentially for something very basic, something straightforward, like if you have a URL, it would probably be perfectly fine to just do like this and then you can quickly store it in a database and uh, it's very quick and simple. So to do that, if you want to join this, it's a very simple procedure. Uh, let's do string called joined and then we can do string. And in fact, it will even give you a suggestion right away. We just have the join. So join can take any separator you want. It could be, again, a comma in this case, and it could be something else. So we can do a little console right line. Let's do joined. And if we uh, run the application, you will see it works perfectly fine. Now these items are joined and they are separated by a little comma here. Uh, perfectly fine. So after that, you can retrieve that data and you can split the data. Uh, the splitting is also very straightforward. Uh, let's call it split data equals, and then we can do joined split. So this will then split uh, all those characters uh, um, using that uh, separator that we used previously. Of course, it's important to know what you had, and as you can see, it works uh, perfectly fine here. We have item one, item two, and item three. Now, the good thing about split, you don't have to worry about uh, essentially having nothing in there. Uh, you kind of want to have to worry about having a null value. But uh, say, for example, if we just have uh, something like this, empty string, it will essentially run perfectly fine without throwing any exceptions or anything like that. And it will just uh, give you a single value, which is good, right? It's good thing because sometimes you just have one value and if you have that one value say item one right here you will not have a problem you'll just uh, receive the item so perhaps uh, the weirder thing is uh, if we do have a null value that becomes uh, slightly more of a problem so you would have to kind of handle the null uh, in a bit of a different way but uh, generally for splitting uh, that is uh, how you do it. So you just do string and then you use join and then you use your uh, separator and you have your your data. So it could be, again, just to show you quickly, we could have a semicolon for here, for example, here. So now if I run here, it won't be separated uh, with a comma. It will be separated with a semicolon, as you can see in this little result. Uh, now you can access this code uh, in the Patreon. If you need it, there's uh, lots more stuff there as well, free courses there uh, available with some subscriptions. Uh, and do check out my C Sharp course and my Blazor courses. They are now updated for .NET 8 and uh, following the, with uh, .NET 9 support as well. And with that said, we will conclude this video.